Hi everyone, hope you're doing great. This is Maro. So today I have Strasbourg, the French tier 7 premium battleship. It's an upscaled version of Dunkirk and I'm sure uh, <laughs> that's not news. So I will primarily compare Strasbourg to Dunkirk and also to the Tech 3 uh, tier 7 battleship uh, Lyon. So with that let's get into it and first i'll start with the hit point pool so both strasbourg in tier 7 and dunkirk in tier 6 have the same number of hit points 52,600. they both get five heals with superintendent so the all-in health comes out to 89,420. and in comparison to lyon it's pretty much all in line. Leon is 53.4 versus 52.6. All in 90.8 versus 89.4. So really not that big difference in health point pool. And uh, that becomes slightly more disconcerting when uh, you look at Dunkirk and Strasbourg. One is tier 6, one is tier 7. Going up the tier scale, you'd expect to see an increase in the hit point pool. And we don't get that here. So perhaps there is something special about Strasbourg's armor and that's the reason why uh, Wargaming uh, decided uh, to keep the hit point pool the same for both ships. So looking at Strasbourg we have the 26 millimeter bow and stern and that's the same as Dunkirk, that's the same as Lyon, Frankly, that's the same for a lot of ships in this tier. What that means is that their armor can be penned by 15 and 6 inch guns. Now, given the fact that this is tier 7, you have matchmaking tier 8, tier 9, and obviously a lot of ships, if not all of the ships in these tiers, can overpen the armor, 26 millimeter armor. But it doesn't really just stop there, because there are quite a few ships in Tier 7 as well that um, have 15 or 16 inch guns. Which means that in case of Strasbourg, Lyon, Duke of York, King George, Poltava and California are the only ships in Tier 7 that cannot overpen Strasbourg. And, you know, that puts uh, Strasbourg in somewhat of a underdog position to begin with, because even within your tier, you can be overpen by quite a few ships. So, looking at the uh, Citadel, in case of Strasbourg, Citadel is just above the water. It basically starts from the front turret to the back secondary turret. And that's similar to Dunkirk. It's not the same as Lyon because actually Lyon gets a sit that's underwater, so effectively more protection there. Both Strasbourg and Dunkirk have a 26 millimeter torpedo protection. Strasbourg's armor belt is slightly thicker, 283 millimeters versus 225 millimeters in case of Dunkirk. And then you have the internal casemate armor, which is almost the way the armor is structured. It suggests turtleback armor. So you have that back plate. And in case of Dunkirk, the back plate uh, just next to the Citadel is 40 millimeters. In case of uh, Strasbourg, it's 50 millimeters. And then you have the Citadel walls. And uh, in case of Dunkirk, again, it's 40 in case of Strasbourg is 50. So Strasbourg has slightly thicker armor protection, so all in around 70 or so millimeters. The issue also with um, the back plate is, for example, in case of Lyon, it's at 60 degree angle, so it's more inclined, which then makes it harder for the shells that pen the armor belt to sit Lyon. While in case of Strasbourg and Dunkirk, it's um, steeper, it's 30 degrees, which means that if the shells pen, 
they can still ricochet, but uh, I think the chance of hitting the Citadel is somewhat increased in comparison to Lyon. So all in, Dunkirk and Lyon have similar thickness of armor, 332, 331 millimeters. And then at a 45 degree angle, that basically gets you close to 470. In case of um, Strasbourg, you have around 70, 80 millimeters more armor. Uh, it all comes in to 409 and effective armor at 40, 45 degree angle gets you to 579. So that's almost 110 millimeters more. And this just takes that uh, uh, citadel protection and puts it apart, right? Because uh, I would argue that Leon appears to have better sit protection than um, Strasbourg or Dunkirk. But in any case, when it comes to actually, you know, getting damage, you don't have to sit the ship to get the damage, right? As long as you get through that main belt armor, you are uh, scoring a pen. And that's all that it comes down to. And then not having a big hit point pool. Yes, you may not be citadel, but your hit point pool will be raised pretty quickly. Not to mention the 26 millimeter uh, everywhere means that uh, a lot of cruisers are going to be able to not just uh, light you up, but also do damage to you. So moving on to the main battery guns. And here, again, Dunkirk and Strasbourg have the same guns. Two turrets, four guns each, 330 millimeter guns. In case of Lyon, obviously, it's a different ship. It has four turrets of four. 330 millimeter guns. It has older guns, hence it has less range. So Strasbourg 19.1k in range, Dunkirk 18.2, and then you have Lyon just under 17, two kilometers less. Then in terms of Sigma, Strasbourg gets slightly more consistent shells. So 1.8 versus 1.7 for Dunkirk, and Lyon is all the way down 1.5. So Lyon more of a shotgun approach. You have a lot of guns and, you know, you hope they more or less hit where you want them. And then in case of Strasbourg and Dunkirk, fewer guns and you get the increase in uh, Sigma to perhaps help you place more shells on the target. Now, reload. Strasbourg gets... <laughs> Strasbourg gets one more second, or should I say one less second, so the guns reload every 25 seconds versus uh, every 26 seconds for Dunkirk. Uh, Lyon is at 30 seconds. In terms of DPM, HE DPM, because of that one extra second, Strasbourg beats Dunkirk, gets to 92,000, while Dunkirk is at 88, 89,000. And Lyon obviously towers above all of them at 150,000. Lyon's HE shells are faster at 921 versus 885 for Dunkirk and Strasbourg. Now 885 is pretty good speed, so they're not uh, really slackers, but 921 is uh, pretty impressive. You add AP DPM on top of that, and then Strasbourg's DPM is 186,000, Dunkirk is 179, so that's 7,000. What is that, like 4%? And then, of course, you have Lyon at 304,000. So in terms of um, AP pen, um, Strasbourg and Dunkirk have around maybe 80 millimeters of uh, incremental pen in comparison to Lyon. And they're around maybe 60 millimeters behind uh, Colorado at around 10K. But then uh, by 19 or so, K, okay, you're down to around 30 to 40 millimeters. And just in terms of comparison between guns and armor, I'm going to take a look here at Colorado and one versus one example. So both Colorado and Strasbourg are sitting opposite each other at 45 degree angle. Given the Colorado's protection, which uh, comes up to 
454 millimeters. So you have a 26 millimeter torpedo protection layer. Then you have 343 millimeter armor belt. And then you have 85 millimeters of sift. So all in, that adds up to 454. And at a 45 degree angle, that's basically 642 millimeters of effective armor. So Strasbourg can only pen that from 3.1k. Strasbourg has 409 millimeters of armor or 579 millimeters of effective armor. But because Colorado guns have higher pen, they are able to pen Strasbourg from 9k. So 3k versus 9k. And, you know, I think that just tells you how Strasbourg performs in comparison to uh, same tier ships. You know, once you get up tiered, obviously, the dynamics change for a lot worse. In addition to being able to reload uh, her shells one second faster, Strasbourg also gets the uh, reload booster. And if you account for that in the DPM figures, you get, you know, you get somewhat of a boost because the reload boost uh, is in effect for 20 seconds. It halves the time during those 20 seconds. So... HE DPM goes up from 92,223. So that's a, you know, 30,000 increase, which is what, maybe 40% increase during that one minute. Now you only get five reload boosters. So this is not going to be in place the whole time, but uh, from time to time it will be available to you. And during those times and during that minute, you will be doing almost, uh, what is that? 40% more than Dunkirk. In case of HE. In case of AP, you go from 186 to 248. So that's also a pretty big increase. And I guess that's the gimmick that uh, developers thought okay, we'll take this tier 6 ship, we'll put it in tier 7, and uh, we'll give it faster gun reload by one second. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll also give it a uh, reload booster. And, you know, that will boost your uh, DPM for or 5. So out of a 15-20 minute game, you'll be in position if you live long enough for during 4 or 5 of those minutes to outclass your tier 6 sister ship. You get slightly better Sigma, 1.8 versus 1.7. So you're a little slightly more consistent. And then you get slightly thicker armor. So to protect your sit in a way and maybe reduce the amount of damage you take here and there. And uh, I guess the developers thought that's enough. And uh, I'm not sure that's really enough because I think even in tier six, Dunkirk, you know, is a ship that's, very fragile and i think what you have now is a ship in a tier 7 that's uh, even more fragile uh, aa is the same it's worse than lions so something to keep in mind your firing angles are the same for dunkirk and strasbourg they're much better than leon because leon has 16 guns uh, that she's supposed to bring uh, on target in terms of concealment this is kind of surprising. Leon has better concealment than Dunkirk or Strasbourg. Dunkirk and Strasbourg are at 14.8 versus 13.8, so a kilometer more, which not ideal. Speed, Dunkirk, Strasbourg, just under 30 knots, 29 and a half. Leon, slightly slower, 27. Turning circle, similar, 730 versus 700. Rather shift time. Pretty much all in line, 14 seconds. Torpedo protection, Strasbourg and Dunkirk uh, do slightly better there, 25% versus Leon at 16, but uh, I mean, it's nothing really to brag about. All in, it's a ship that if you thought Dunkirk had difficulty keeping up with tier 6, I feel you're going to feel even more so at a tier 7. Because while at tier 6, there are even fewer ships that can overmatch you, tier 7 becomes uh, quite a common occurrence 
Also, obviously, you start to face uh, tier 8 and tier 9 ships. Uh, I've had one or two games with Musashi. And <laughs> I mean, come on. They, these ships are not even the same class. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, and it's what happens in the game. So you can't, can't be helped. So with that, we come to the end of this video. I wish you the best of luck on the high seas. Maro, out.